that Tim Weir out the <coughs> FA Trophy, and I guess it sort of leaves you a lot to ponder after that first showing. Yeah, it does. Um, listen, what I asked the players for after two sessions in the dressing room before the game, before they went out and did their warm up, was I wanted them to give 100% of everything they've got for this football club in this game, all right? Because obviously, as days and weeks move on, we're going to be working and working and working. I believe they did that. I believe they worked their socks off. Um, listen, obviously, and then in the end with 10 men having to work their socks off, which weren't easy. Uh, I thought we were second best uh, for staff. Uh, but having said that, the quality of goals that we concede is, is minging, if I'm honest. Uh, it's, you know, looking back at the, the tapes from the games gone by, it's an Achilles heel, uh, crosses coming in the box too easy, and then three headers in between my sticks. Um, so that's first port call. Uh, you know, we've, first, we've got to defend A, block, get our body on the line and start blocking stuff, and B, get tight and start getting first contact and second contact in our box. Uh, I thought the second half, uh, we made that change at half time and brought McQueen on uh, for Pascal. Um, and I thought we started a little bit more on the front foot. Um, and then when Walker went on, he looked sharp. He looked sharp. I was a little bit worried, uh, A, with the surface, and B, he's just coming back from a hamstring. He didn't train yesterday with a, with a stiff lower back. So we decided to leave him, but put him on the bench. Um, but listen, he, the kid's a real threat. He had a couple of, of flashes of what he's about, sharp, uh, bright in the box pulled the trigger you know he, he's a good little player and one that's going to be a big part of us going forward um, but yeah ponder for, for sure you know there's, there's frailties there's no doubt about that but um, you know we're going to revisit it we're in on Monday um, you know obviously the chairman and myself are in contact uh, we've already put our first piece of the jigsaw uh, in place in terms of going forward we've got a, a fantastic S&C coach joining us on Monday strength and conditioning um, he's uh, top draw top draw so from now on everything is, is monitored uh, you know we, we'll be taking everything you and we've got all the, uh, the heart rate monitors I'm going to know all the output how far they're running how quickly everything from you know well, that treatment room will be absolutely run as a proper professional football club should be should be so that's a massive start um, delighted with with uh, his acquisition uh, and we start again on Monday you know we've got a week now into the Boreham Wood game they're a, they're a terrific team you know we've got some super players and they're well set up so you know we get back down and, and start grafting again um, do, you know in and out of possession it must be only the sort of the man of the goals that yeah. you take the big negative away because we got ourselves back into the yeah. game and I thought we were valued to get back in at one all and then see the goal so quickly must be the disappointing aspect it's the manner of it absolutely listen it, is it, <laughs> we watched the tape of them yesterday uh, you know the left the left sided left sided boy's a right footer he's going to want to chop and deliver or shoot you know and what does he do he chops delivers but alright that's bad enough but the second one is the big nine who's you know not bad in the air he gets a free a free nut in at, at the back post you know so that's that's a frailty for sure you know so that needs to be ironed out and we need to start, as I say, getting down the line of the ball, blocking crosses, getting a good defensive line and then competing and putting our bodies on the line. But you, listen, you're spot on. I, you know, I'm not going to stand here and say, oh yeah, it was, it was great, they tried their best. No, no, no. Yeah, they gave it everything they got, but there's deficiencies, you know, there's, there's flaws in our, in our game for sure and there's flaws about what we're about. So they need to be ironed out. Um, but that ain't going to happen overnight. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be on the training pitch, drill, drill, drill. And hey, listen, it might be that we need some some reinforcements. You know, the cavalry might have to come in over the hill, and we might need to bring a few faces in just to, to strengthen the what we've already got. Um, but when you look at our front options, you know we've got some pace. If if um, Josh can, you know, he's okay and he recovers fine. Uh, Hooper, uh, Effion, you know, Fall. We've got some good front end. We've got some pace there and some power. You know, we've got lads who are giving it in the midfield areas. You know, whether I stick to that shape, uh, I don't know yet. I'll revisit it. But um, you know, we'll be thinking long and hard over the next uh, tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, have a chat with the staff and see where we think we really do need strengthening. And then I'll have a chat with uh, Mr. Cleanthus and see if we can do anything. And if we can't, so be it. We'll um, we'll just drill and drill and drill with what we've got.
with what we've got. But um, listen, as a starting point, I felt they gave everything they got there for the shirt. You know, I've made a few phone calls and asked a few people what you think, and maybe that was a, you know, a thought in other people. Listen, they ain't too sure. You know, they're a little bit flaky. I thought they give it a real good go today, but but that ain't enough. That ain't enough. So we need more. We need uh, more, even more effort, but more certainly more quality. Just the last one for me. You mentioned there that the foundation of effort is there. That should hopefully stand us in good stead going into the busy Christmas period if we can iron out those deficiencies that you mentioned. Yeah, 100%. Listen, that's when you allow crosses into the box at any level too easily and then you don't get first contact, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. If there's a bit of quality on and shape on the cross, then you're in trouble. You know, and I look back at you know, Niall Bell at Halifax. You know, crossing from the right hand side, free header in between the sticks. Can't happen. Can't happen. So um, the bottom line is, and I, I said to him before, proper men will always analyse themselves, look in the mirror. I think they will. I think they will. But I told them, get ready on Monday because we've got proper sports science in now, so that all the testing will be done. We're on the pitch for, for 10.30 and we're grafting, you know, and we start to iron out some of the creases that we've got. And um, at the moment, that's, that's the best we can do. Um, you know, and can we get, if we can get, if there's anything available to us that makes us better, then I'll, then I'll look at it. But, um, you know, in terms, of, I'm disappointed to be out of the trophy. I wanted to run in it. I wanted to win it, if I'm honest. I want to win the trophy. What's the point of even turning up if you don't want to win it? Um, and now I want to win on Saturday. So we get together again, we regroup, we'll dissect it, we'll look at the tape, uh, we'll have a little debrief, see what we did all right, and see what we didn't do very well, uh, and move on. And, and you know, and that's it.